Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or hello if you've never been here before. My name's Nikita and I'm 30 weeks and 5 days pregnant. And I'm actually starting to get so stressed out that I'm not ready. Um, it's like the 10 week countdown until my due date and it's coming so quickly and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to get everything done, everything ready. I don't know if anyone else has felt like this when they've hit the third trimester, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to get everything done. So I have started, I say started, but I've actually almost finished my hospital bag already. So I thought I'd give you guys a what's in my hospital bag, Australian edition. Um, in Australia, they don't give you very much stuff at the hospital. So you do have to pack a little bit more, like nappies and clothes and stuff like that you do have to pack. Um, but I try not to go too over accession with everything because I literally am like a 10 minute I could get, well not me, but my partner could go walk to Kmart and walk back within 10 minutes from the hospital. So if I do need something, it's not a big deal. I can get it. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into what I've packed for my hospital bag. So for starters, I actually went with a suitcase, not a bag, because I knew that if I went for a bag, I'd probably have to get like three bags and... Chris, my partner, is going to have to carry three bags plus the capsule plus whatever he bloody decides to bring. So I went and got myself a suitcase. It's a very cute suitcase. I got pink even though I'm having a boy. The chicken there is like, he's not going to remember. He won't remember. I was going to get blue, but I will reuse this. So, you know. Um, I've pretty much got it all packed up. I decided to start packing up the suitcase at 30 weeks because I was like oh well then I'll have a few like weeks to get it all packed up I wanted it all to be done by about 34 to 36 weeks I haven't even hit 31 weeks and it's pretty much all packed up the only things that need to still go in are things that I already own I just am not packing them up yet because I'm still using them um but yeah, let's just get into what I've got in this suitcase then, hey? So I really don't, I think I've got minimalistic, but then again, like I do have a massive suitcase full of stuff. So maybe what I think is minimalistic still isn't very minimalistic, but let's see. So this has all stuff for me and for Bub in here as well. I haven't actually packed anything for Chris. Um, he can pack his own bag, I think. So, yeah. So, should we go through what side first? Probably the side of the clothes I will go through first and what I've got packed up for my clothes. So, I have everything in this side that I need to put in there except for, um my straight hair straightener which i don't know if i'll use i probably will not use my hair straightener in there i'm thinking i'm probably going to ask my mum who's going to be in there to braid my hair at some point if um i'm up to that i'll ask her to braid it because i'm probably going to be all sweaty and gross but i'll just bring my straightener just in case um there's room for that in here still and makeup makeup i'm not going to go big on the makeup because i'm probably not going to wear any makeup but i'm just going to bring concealer um bb like tinted moisturizer and maybe some mascara but i probably won't use it but i'm just gonna bring it anyway just in case might make me feel fresh or something if i need it um but i'm probably not gonna use it i might put some bb cream on on the way to the hospital but it's going to come off after I'm sweating <laughs> and all of that anyway, so I don't know even why I'm bothering, but I'm going to bring that. Um, I've also got snacks that I need to pack, but I'm only 30 weeks, so if I pack my snacks now, they're going to go bad. So I'll wait till I'm closer to pack some snacks because everyone recommends bringing snacks for the hospital. Hospital food isn't that great. Um, we are very close to Maccas, so I'll probably be getting some Maccas or something. But just some snacks if, we're, if I'm in there for a while, um, just to, you know, nibble on. Um, and I haven't got packed in here 
what I'm going to wear like a going home outfit for myself. Um, I still need to put that in there, but I think I'm just going to wear like a tracksuit or something home because it's going to be winter. So I'm going to be cold. So yeah, I'm probably just going to wear a tracksuit, which is the only thing that I need to still get because, um, or I could wear one of my old tracksuits, but I don't think they're going to fit me at that point. I was very small. So yeah, they probably won't fit me. Um, yeah. And then at the moment, right now, actually in the wash, I have my, one of my dressing gowns, like a big fluffy dressing gown. It's, um, a gray one. It's an old one, so I don't care about getting it gross, um, but it's in the wash right now. And also one of his outfits is in the wash. His going home outfit, um, is in the wash and also a swaddle is in the wash. Deodorant, just a roll on deodorant. I'm going to need to put in my toiletries bag, which I haven't put in there yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm not bringing perfume because I feel like the perfume will be too intense on Bub's skin or he will like probably not like the smell or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just some deodorant. And then I've got a little side note down the bottom. If I want i might put in some fairy lights just i i don't know if they're going to get used but if they do get used i think that would maybe make the room a little bit more chilled um and also like some type of portable speaker because yeah I'm listen to my own music if i want so those things are on there also my camera and my batteries which i'm using right now so i need to have them ready but yeah i'm using them at the moment so Yep, and then my phone and my phone charger as well is another thing that I need to pack, but that will be getting packed when I'm in early labor as well. So let's get into everything that I have that is in the bag already. Now, I actually got a list off my sister. She's been helpful, so helpful, and I just literally checked everything off the list off my sister. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, in the top of my bag, I have... Some bed socks these are literally just like fluffy socks so if I need to well apparently your feet get really cold in labor so some bed socks um, and along with the bed socks we have some um, what are these called slippers just some slippers for in the hospital because apparently it gets really cold in there and also those are just comfortable you know um this is stuff for me by the way obviously um what have we got okay so i probably went on an over accession with this like whatever i've got two well i've actually got four nursing bras i probably i definitely probably do not need four nursing bras but i have them like who cares i'll just pack them that's the thing i didn't bring too much stuff but i brought a lot of everything like probably too much of everything but it's like i don't know how much i'm gonna need i don't know how long i'm gonna be there but um these are just from kmart these are just i got two of these i don't know and they're like nursing bras and then i got two of these ones which is like i don't know they look like a bit more comfy and they don't have the thing on the back i don't know why i need four i probably do not need four Probably definitely don't need four, but I've got four. Um, okay. <laughs> this is the other thing, like, yeah, you will see. Okay, I, I have one pair of, like, these maternity undies from Kmart that, like, go up over. Just in case I have, like, a C-section, I just want, um, well, I, I probably will need more than one pair, but I just got them just in case. And then I got, literally, there's like five, I think. One, two, three, four, five pairs of just like normal undies to wear from Kmart as well. Honestly, if you're having a baby, you go to Kmart to get all this stuff because it's so much cheaper than anywhere else. I, I went and priced everything up for you so you just don't have to. Cheaper than Big W, cheaper than Target, cheaper than Best and Less. And yeah, you're probably going to bleed on all of this stuff anyway. So, like, go to Kmart. 
Um, okay, I have two singlets, maternity singlets. And these just obviously clip up down from the front from Kmart as well. Um, I think I probably, I don't know. I just feel like I want more of these in here, but I'm not going to put more in because it's probably an over accession once again. But I don't know why I need four bras and two shirts. But anyway, so I got two of those. Um, what else do I have? This is a robe. This is just a, I'm probably not even going to wear this one because I have my fluffy one. Do you know what, guys? I have envisioned in my head I'm probably just going to be in my fluffy robe the whole time anyway with, like, undies and a bra on. So, that's just a um, relaxing, light robe. I Like, it's going to be cold because it's winter and it's in a hospital. So, probably won't even use that, but it's in there. There's enough um, space for it, so why not? I prefer to have more stuff than not enough stuff, guys, because if I get there and I... And I'm like, oh, I really wish I brought that. Then I'm going to be disappointed in myself. Okay, I have the this pair of black pyjamas. Um, it's a black, just a normal pair of pyjamas. And some pants. Pyjama pants that are the same. But they're like comfy. I'll probably be in this, to be honest, the whole time. Is in this and a robe. I would say because it will be cold but I have a lot of options of clothes I probably don't need this many but I have a lot and then I have some pants some little pants short pants just to chill in who knows I could get hot flushes and stuff I could be warm as well um then what's this Oh, there's some tights, some high-waisted tights in case of a C-section. Um, I'm noticing how much actual clothes I have and I'm like, it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I literally have more pyjama pants. Like, I actually need them. <laughs> but, you know, who knows? I could be in there for a few days and I've got lots of stuff. And I'll wear these all when I get home anyway. So, I will. Um, I've got a big shirt, just a big bunning shirt. Um, you guys have seen me wear those before. And then this is just another big shirt as well, a massive shirt. So yeah, that's all of my clothes. I know I bloody packed a fucking, sorry, shouldn't say. I bloody packed a lot of clothes. Probably too many, but you can never be too prepared, can you? Okay, for the next bit of the video, I will show you what i have for bub so that's how i have everything in my packed in there as well by the way so it all fits in there nicely but this is the things for bub his clothes um i've got them all marked out neatly for chris i've got three times um five zero outfits in there and there's layers for him and i've got four of the four uh, three of the four zeros and then on the bottom, he's got a going home outfit for either of the sizes. Because I obviously don't know what size he's going to be yet. Hopefully it's one of them ones. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then I'll put my hair straightener and stuff down the side here. And that just folds up. And then I'll show you what I have packed in this side. Okay, so getting into the other side, which is like toiletries and like postnatal care and also like just things for bob um we have okay we probably have an over accession of everything in this side i might take some stuff out if it, it all doesn't fit but at the moment it's looking like it's gonna fit anyway so i'm just gonna keep it in there um what shall we do first? We'll do what I've got in here for Bub, which is not very much because um, all of the lists and stuff that I got, they all said so much stuff like baby bath and stuff like that. But my sister said to me that you don't really want to wash all of those natural oils off your baby's skin within the first few days anyway. You just want to wash it with water. So, And I actually agree with that. I might take like one baby bath just in case the nurses are like, where's your baby bath? I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't have any. But, um, yeah. So I don't have anything like that. 
what I do have, this is what my sister recommended to get, is the, well, nappies. I probably don't need this many nappies. There's, how many in here? 28 nappies, but I'm just going to take the whole thing because why not? I've got some wipes, a whole thing of wipes. Probably don't need that many, but you know. And then a dummy. I don't know if I'm going to need a dummy either, but yes, I've got a dummy as well. That's literally all I have for Bub's, like, care. Um, I'm thinking, like, I don't know. I Like, I'm thinking, what if I can't breastfeed? Like, that's my, something that's making me a little bit nervous. I'm like, what if I can't breastfeed? Then um, I'm going to need, like, bottles and formula and stuff like that. But it's okay because we live just up. Well, we don't live. The hospital is just up the road so from the shop. So if anything like that happens, I'm sure it's going to be fine. And um, Chris can sort me out and go to the shop and get me what I need. But yes, I'm actually already producing colostrum. So I don't think I'll have a problem with my milk coming in. Um, so it should be fine. I'm just going to go in there positive that it's going to happen anyway. So yeah, I'm not going to pack that at the moment. Um, I already said at the start of the video that I had his swaddle and a blankie in the wash that will be getting packed into the bag as well on his clothes side. Um, I don't know if I need more than one, but I'm just going to pack one. Oh, definitely not a blanket because the hospital gives you blankets. I will pack a cute blanket for him that I like for like just photos and stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to be packing more blankets. That's just more room. <laughs> now, moving on to my stuff. So, we've got some postnatal care stuff, which, um, not that much. We've got some nipple balm, um, for my breasts, nipples, obviously. Witch hazel. I haven't actually properly, like, worked out what this is for. My sister recommended it. I'm pretty sure it's to put on your cuts on your fanny or perineum or whatever it's called after it says it cleans soothes to tones naturally um yeah but i don't know i got some of that because she told me to get that she's stressed to get that so well she didn't stress out but she's she's stressed that's a good thing to get um i got some massage oil for during labor if i well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back rubs. Trust me on that. I'm gonna be getting my fair share of back rubs. So I got some hemp massage oil. There's no, nothing in here that you can't have for. Oh, the baby's kicking me. <laughs> There's nothing in there that you can't have while you're pregnant. Um, see things like this. Like if I need more room, I'm definitely gonna have to I'll take out. I don't need 60 of these. Um, bamboo nursing pads i will not need 60 but i just thought why not take the whole box if i have the room which at the moment i do have the room so i'll leave them in there and then i've got some hydro gel breast discs which is what i found out of my sister since the last video is that these soothe your boobs or your nipples if they're cracked and stuff so that'll be awesome okay now what i've got is this is probably going to defeat the fact that I have 17 billion buddy pairs of undies packed. That's a good noise. But anyway, I have these um, adult diapers, adult, they say they're adult underwear, but adult nappies. I probably won't even need to use my undies. If I like these, then I won't even need to use my undies. I saw a lot of people recommend to get those on YouTube videos. And then I've got two packs of maternity pads just in case those are bad to use with the underpants i don't know how many i'm gonna need for any of this stuff guys so i'm just getting more than less because i'll use them all when i get home anyway so it's not like i'm wasting anything um then i just have a pack of normal pads that's basically if i have a c-section like i can put over as like a bandage i don't know is that right can i do that i don't know but like so that my clothes don't rub I was thinking like stick them there i don't know we'll see but normal pads in there as well and that is all for um postnatal care and stuff like that 
Okay, now the last thing that I have packed is a toiletry bag. This has got let's, some stuff in there for toiletries. Sorry about the glare of the ring light. Um, I still need to pack a few things into this, like I said. Um, my hair ties were one of them. I shall pack them in right now because I don't want to not have hair ties. I want my mum to be able to braid my hair if possible. So that's going in there. I have some lip balm because when you're on gas, your lips can dry out really easily and I don't want dry lips. I need to put maybe some moisturizer in here, I think, because it could get like dry and stuff, my whole body and stuff in the hospital. I don't want dry and itchiness. So um, I'll put some moisturizer in here and I'll put that on my makeup that I'm taking in here. And then what I've got is shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is like, can be used by me and Chris and my mom if she wants to have a shower. And then body wash, toothpaste, and then I've got a toothbrush for me, my mom, and for Chris. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just preparing for all of us. Then I've got a hairbrush. I got an, a little hairbrush that I didn't own already. I went and bought it for like three dollars from Kmart because I just want the less stuff I have to pack in pre-labor or early labor, the more I'm going to be chilled out. So like, I'm not going to go buy myself another like concealer for, um, for labor or like another camera. Like that's silly. But you know, things like this, I can buy an extra one for, so I don't have to be like, what if I'm in a lot, a lot of pain and I'm just like, Chris, can you pack this and this and this? At least like then he'll only have a little amount of things to get. So that's basically what I'm trying to achieve is it to be easy for Chris because I'm going to need him to be supporting me in other ways. I don't want him to be distracted. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I think that's all I've got to talk about. That's everything in my bag. Um, except for the stuff that I said, obviously, I haven't packed yet. I don't know what type of snacks I'm going to take. But I am getting super excited. Like, I know this sounds weird, but I'm getting super excited to go and experience labor. And, like, experience that with Chris and experience it with my mum as well. I think it's going to be like, I'm probably sounding really naive, but it's going to be like a great bonding experience for us. As much as I'm probably going to hate it when it comes, I'm, <laughs> I am very excited for it at the moment. Um, yeah, and it's getting so much closer and I just like doing things like this. It gets, <laughs> gets me more like excited and keen and yeah, I don't know, 10 weeks guys, give or take. And I will have my little baby boy with me here. I'm so, so, so keen. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. If there's anything you recommend me to put in my hospital bag, please leave it in the comment below. Because I don't want to get there and not have something that I wish I had. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Turn the post notifications on. Um... What's the other thing you've got to do? Subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. You just don't have to do any of these things. But it would be nice if you did because it gives me motivation to make more videos. Because I know that you guys like them. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.